Hi everyone, it's another Christmas in July project with Spellbinders featuring a gorgeous collection, Parcel and Post. This is a super sweet collection which includes mailbox, Christmas decorations, and a hot foil set mailbox greetings. And I've taken this collection and created another collection which includes a card, gift bag, and Christmas tag. If you'd like more information on any of the products that I've used, links can be found in the description of this YouTube video and on my blog at bonniecarolee.com. I'm starting off with the Christmas card and putting together the cute mailbox. The body of the mailbox was die cut from red cardstock and foam. For the side panel, I applied a little bit of Distress Oxide ink black soot around the edges just to give it a bit more definition. Mailbox door has a score line so that it can be opened up. There is a separate die just for the door and I've cut that in matte gold cardstock and adhered it to the flap on the mailbox. Hardware for the handle was cut out of black cardstock and then the handle face out of matte gold cardstock. Mailbox greeting was foiled in gold on black cardstock and then cut with the die so that it would fit perfectly on the front of the mailbox. I'm cutting the elements from Christmas decorations for the Christmas card, I also made sure that I had enough for the tag and the gift bag. The color scheme was kept pretty simple. Ivory for the flowers, the greenery of course in green but also in gold, and some additional gold accents. The die for the letters is so cute. It comes with, of course, a small rectangle and then an additional flap just to give it that added detail. This die was included with the mailbox die set and I cut several out in gold, ivory, and red. Two dies were used from Spellbinder's Oval Essentials, the large oval and then the dot detail to create the background for the mailbox to sit on. The foam-backed mailbox was adhered to the front of the card and the Christmas foliage tucked in behind it. Three letters were adhered spilling out of the door of the mailbox. Where the letters overhang the foam-backed mailbox, I did tuck in a foam square to keep them stable. A couple of foam squares were also placed on the mailbox door on the underside to keep it propped open. I used the new foil plate plaid tidings to foil the flap of a black envelope for the cart. I use post-it note tape to mask off the body of the envelope from the flap, but it did leave a residue. I was able to remove it with an adhesive eraser, but I would probably try something else in the future. The card was finished up with gold confetti topped with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. Using Spellbinder's gift bag die set, two pieces of black cardstock were cut. An additional piece of black cardstock was foiled in gold using plaid tidings background. I find foil can be a bit challenging to cut. It is easy to cut the foil to the exact size that you want with Spellbinder's quick trimmer. All of the score lines on both of the gift bag panels are folded and burnished. The two score lines that are on one side of the panel are burnished into a Z-fold. Double-sided tape will be placed on the narrow fold on the other side of the bag. To create the bottom of the bag, the two diagonal score lines are scored from the edge of the cardstock just to the horizontal score line. The two bags are joined together by placing score tape on the narrow flap on one bag. The score line is butted right up against the edge of the cardstock along the side. After that join is burnished, it is left in that position and then the other flap is simply folded over onto the panel joining the two sides together. For the bottom of the bag, I like to put a little bit of the double-sided tape inside the bag to hold those triangular pieces down flat. More double-sided tape goes on those triangular flaps and they are closed up and the bag is formed. 
The foiled panel is trimmed down to fit one of the sides of the bags and it is adhered to it. The mailbox greeting has been foiled and I've die cut it and black foam so that they can be stacked. Gift bag die set also comes with a die to create the handles for the bag. I'm going to add a touch of red so that this gift bag ties in with the card. This bow out of red cardstock has been made with a die set called Create a Flutter and Flower Bow and will add just a nice little pop of color. When adding floral die cuts to any project, I like to create small groupings. I find it easier to manage a smaller number of pieces as I arrange and rearrange several times. Like the card, once everything is in place, the foam back sentiment is popped on top, catching the bottom of the foliage. The bow is adhered on the corner and a little sprig of greenery attached to it. Again, everything is finished up with gold confetti topped with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. I love Morning Dew. When it dries, it is clear, leaving a beautiful jewel-like appearance. Tag will be created from the second largest oval die and its coordinating dot detail die from Oval Essentials. The next smallest oval die was used to die cut some black cardstock that had been foiled using plaid tidings background. Instead of centering this oval, it was placed in the upper portion. And after the hole is punched and the flowers and greenery attached, the foam back sentiment is adhered so that it overhangs the bottom of the tag. The sentiment was chosen because it's going to be framed with all those cute little envelopes. And the gold envelope that I'm attaching now is going to be adhered to the edge of the sentiment and so it's going to have a little foam square so that it attaches to the envelopes below it. Just like the last little envelope to go onto this tag. I had just a touch of overfoiling, and so I find that the creative detailer does a good job of lifting that off. For the tie, I've used several strands of gold embroidery floss. The tag came together very quickly and it is finished up like the other two pieces in this set with gold confetti and morning dew. And that wraps up this Christmas giving set with a wonderfully sweet collection parcel and post made up of Christmas decorations, mailbox, and mailbox greetings. Stay tuned for more videos as we celebrate Christmas in July with Spellbinders. As always, I appreciate your visit.